This is Anna. She's got a secret and it's hidden inside this red bag. Did she have an affair with her boss? Does she have 18 cats? Or is she still married? We'll open up this bag and many, many more coming up on Baggage. Now, right now, let's meet our lucky dater. She's an interior decorator from England. Please welcome back Anna. What kind of guy are you looking for? There are no guys in uh, England? Well, I find myself um, strangely drawn to the rugged all-American male, you know, sort yeah. of a cowboy with a brain. Here's a business owner from California. Say hi to Sean. I'm a romantic gentleman, and also I'm sophisticated and world-traveled, so if you pick me, I'll take you on those adventures with me. Ooh. Sounds promising. Up next, he's a caterer from Massachusetts. Please welcome Chuck. Hi, Anna. I'm a hardworking caterer that makes a killer pizza. I love to cook, and I know how to treat a lady right. Pick me, and I promise to cater to your every need. <gasps> Finally, he's a management consultant from Canada. Give it up for Michael. Hi, Anna. I'm an exciting guy who likes to live life on the wild side. My favorite thing to do is take my bike out on a, on a ride in the weekends. If I'm nervous, I'm just overwhelmed by your blonde beauty. Whew. It's time to reveal your smallest piece of baggage. I can't stand pets. OK, here's the deal, Anna. I actually grew up with pets. I had a dog named Lulu. And you would call her, come here, Lulu. And she would run over and piss on your shoe. I Why don't you just get a new shoe? <laughs> Chuck, show us your baggage. I suffer from panic attacks. Um, bad? Are they bad? Well, and I'm somewhat of a hypochondriac. When my finger hurts, I think there's something wrong with me. Michael, show us your baggage. I shave my entire body. Why? I'm half Italian. I'm naturally hairy. Okay. And you can see the results of the core work. <laughs> That's the idea. So I'm going to open these medium-sized bags now. Once you tell me which piece of baggage is your deal breaker, the guy who claims that bag will, of course, then be eliminated. Bag number one. I have 8,000 Star Wars toys. Bag number two. I spent 90 days in a Canadian jail. Whoa. I'm always an hour late for dates. None of them are great. Who needs? 8,000 Star Wars, so 800, 80, but 8,000, that's a lot. What do you think about the 90 days in a Canadian jail? I think that's criminal. I'm always an hour late for dates. Is well, that a problem? That's inexcusable. It's inexcusable. Yeah. My deal breaker is... I spent 90 days in a Canadian jail. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Michael, but it is time for you to pack and go. You're very beautiful, and Jerry, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. I, I'd like to know more about the hour late thing, because what are you doing in that hour? <laughs> Business, usually. Closing an extra deal, um, finishing getting ready so I, I can make sure I'm prepared for you. Uh, it really, it's just the concept of just losing the time. But what about giving her the courtesy of telling her that I'm going to be at a certain place at a certain time, being an hour late? Yeah, that's Won't you be stuck point. at the Comic Con anyway? No, I don't go to those. <laughs> I don't yeah, go to those. Boys. I mean, like, seriously, like. How do you defend? 8,000 Star Wars toys is probably worth close to $100,000. And. Then why are you still holding on to them? Well, I'm I am saving to cash out and probably put a down payment on a on a home or a condo. 
Oh. Oh, so now wow. he's an investor. That's well, that, interesting. Yeah. Now, Anna's about to see what's inside these guys' largest bags and make her final decision. Guys, it's time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. Sean. I've cheated no. on all of my girlfriends. Terrible. Up to now. <laughs> Up to now. Awful. Yeah, that's everyone. Well, oh, everyone. Man. I mean, when we say everyone, I've actually only had two girlfriends. I'm not sure okay. if I believe that. I am. I am still having fun while I'm with the wrong ones, while I'm searching for the right one. Oh. <sighs> that's not good. Chuck. Reveal your baggage. What? I'm still in love oh. with my <laughs> ex. Hey. Well, she's married now, and what? I have, oh. and I have moved on, <laughs> and I have moved but on. But you haven't moved on. Yes, oh, I have. I actually loved again after her. So, but I'll always have feelings for her, just like other people will have feelings for past boyfriends and girlfriends. But after meeting you. I'm ready to move on. No, 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 you're, oh. you're still in love with her. Oh, I'm sorry. Chuck, oh, you've got too much baggage. Your loss, but may the force be with you. <laughs> Chuck, it's time to pack up and go. Congratulations. Sean and Anna! <laughs> now the tables have turned. You see, it's your decision now, Sean. What's the secret in Anna's big red bag? Did she have an affair with her boss? Does she have 18 cats? Or is she still married? As I have... Cheated on girlfriends, I guess I can't really say affair with boss, so that's not a big deal. I figured that. Um, being married, like really, like still married, um, I don't, I don't know what I would do with that. But 18 cats, <laughs> like, ah, uh, like, you, like you better have a lot of property, and they're not allowed inside. 18 cats. That's the biggest baggage for you. Yeah. All right, Anna. Reveal your baggage. I'm still married. What's, well, what do you say? Look, my, my marriage was over four years ago, four and a half years ago. Yes. It's just that it's really been stressful. I've been in different countries and the paperwork hasn't been completed, but it's just a formality. And I was. I think you're really cute. I was really attracted to you, so I really hope that you can, you know, give me a chance. Anna, I can accept your baggage. Good. Congratulations! <laughs> we got a great day planned for you guys. A romantic dinner for two. Who knows? It could be the start of something big. Remember, we all have baggage. The question is, how much can you handle for a chance at love? We'll see you next time. <laughs>